So the Bulldogs and Matt Wyatt start their 20. The last three drives, negative four yards offense, as you pointed out, Kirk. Now they've got to get at least 50 yards in a minute 30 with one timeout. You'd have to believe to get in decent field goal range for Westerfield. Wyatt on first down, flips it behind Brindle, who makes the catch, and there's a flag. Holding there. The ball's backed up. They chew clock on the play. Mm -hmm. And it gets back and almost yeah. draws attention towards it. Yeah. And back him up to the 15. Wyatt looking deep, heaving it. That glove goes up for it and comes down with it. Atoning for the penalty, the catch of the Bulldog 40. Preston Kirk just made was 51 yards. The 40. Wyatt again. Looks short. Complete. And the tackle made in back to 35. Right. At the 35 yard line to give him a chance. And that's about 20 more yards. Wyatt again fires. Broken up. And here comes the flag. Jeremy Bow. And it is half six or seven yards to get in that field goal range. Wyatt drops back, complete, right at the 35-yard line. Not a first down, so the clock continues to run. Now they'll stop it. And Mississippi State burns its final timeout. They are in very marginal field goal range for Scott Westerfield who is one for one from beyond 50. 51. Yeah, you get, if they can get five to ten more yards, you feel pretty good. The last kick that he... Go through the same dumb thing you did before. How about the job of this offense, considering oh. the last three drives, what they've done? Nine plays, negative four yards, and now they've moved the ball and they're close to field goal range. Second and four. Wyatt puts it short again. Wide open, caught, low, first down. Smacked by Bowie. But the ball now at the 24, and they are well within field goal range for Scott Westerfield. Kirk and Chris, I remember this as a football coach. Remember, once a football player like Matt Wyatt brings your team back, the team has a sense of confidence on him that he can do it again. On second down, Wyatt looks short, near side. It's completed to Matt Butler. Unit on. Here comes Westerfield actually, because the clock is going to run. Actually caught a break there because he has plenty of time. It'll be about a 45-yarder on the hash mark for Scott Westerfield. Biggest kick of his life. He got it. Pressure kick. You haven't made one season so far. Preserving that lead in the SEC West from the hash mark from 45 yards. No problem. He boomed it. He knew as soon as he kicked it. And Rob Morgan, number 10 there, the holder, a nice job to pick up the low snap. Excellent point, Chris. That was a low snap. It was a good hold. And Mississippi State, which has made a living, living dangerously, may have done it again. Another heartbreaker, perhaps, in this series. We've had three terrific games. And this place is absolutely rocking with five seconds to go. Here comes the dog pound rock as the Bulldogs will have to kick off. A little extra flavor this time. <laughs> wow. Mississippi State, we've talked about it. They've done nothing on offense the previous three possessions. They take the ball from their 20, and in six plays, they go 52 yards in a minute 25 to set up Scott Westerfield's go-ahead field goal. And the hero, Matt Wyatt Sr., 6'5", 237. He won the Auburn game, and he got him down in position to win this one. 